send it over to the Soviet Union. 31 IPCs. I'm going to purchase a fighter. And a tank. Five infantry, a tank, and a fighter. I like that purchase. Let's go with it. I'm going to take Ukraine, and I'm going to use a unit to do it. And now here, send these tanks. So four tanks. And if I send two infantry, what does that look like? Four times three is 12. 13, 14, so that's two or three hits. And he'll expect to get back one or two hits. So now the next question is... He's got nine, ten, fifteen... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So if I do this, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, yeah. This should be fine. This should be good. I like it. Hopefully it goes well. Hopefully it goes well. Like, should I send an artillery? I'm just afraid that if I send too much firepower, I'll wipe them out. It's not very likely to get five hits off of six units, seven units. You're getting closer to the possibility. Could send one more infantry. You know what? Let's send the artillery. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. It's a risk, but let's do it. May the dice gods be with us. All right, we're expecting three hits. Come on. One hit. Oh. But he got no hits back. Okay. Let's see. He's got four units left, and I'm expecting three hits again. Ooh. Maybe I should just retreat. Maybe I should just retreat. Getting four hits is not out of the question here. So I think it's too risky. Would have been nice if we got one more hit. Would have been nice if he took out the uh, anti air. But hey, it's still a profit. Let's just be happy with that. Cut our loss. Well, we didn't have any losses, so there's no losses to cut. So not bad, not bad. We'll take it. You will go... Well, one of you will go there. This infantry... Can be traded pretty efficiently in Sinkyang, so I'm not going to put anything there. even with the U.S. unit here. Although, maybe... You know what? Maybe we do. Maybe, yeah, let's put the infantry there. Maybe we take something out. 
put these two in caucuses. These two go in West Russia. This fighter, this fighter. Five infantry. Another five units from there. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So he's not getting that. Because he has 23? Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that. Put out the other fighter. Oh, for a second, I thought I forgot to block Archangel. <laughs> Whew, okay. A tank out of Russia. Five infantry, four infantry, excuse me, out of Caucasus, and the remaining one in Russia, and we'll send it over to Germany. Alright, Shimo, what did you do? Let's take a look. Nine infantry, three artillery. So, he stopped with the tanks. Interesting. I thought he was going to tank rush me, perhaps not. He moved his troops into Libya. Took France. He lost uh, two infantry there. Got the Ukraine. All right, he's got a bomber. He put an aircraft, an anti-aircraft back in Germany. Doesn't really have much defense on Germany, but I guess I don't have much attack either. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, that's close. But I don't think there's any way. No, there's no way that would work. Poland. Alright, he produced two artilleries out of Karelia. One artillery and seven infantry out of Germany, put another two in Italy. So, hmm. Let's look at the situation in India. One, two. Three, four. Five. You could bring five to India, so we don't really have to worry about India. I do need a new transport. Let's just double check the situation here. He's got one, two. So if you take these two. Hmm. So the United States probably has to take these two infantry, one on each transport, which kind of sucks. Take Finland and Norway. And we're going to need these units up there to defend against... Well, he's got three, four. We've got one, two, three, four. I don't have another fighter. Oh, I do have a fighter. One, two, three, four. That could land. Could use the bomber to try and trade something, maybe. Though that doesn't look like a good prospect. I'm not sending one of my British units with two fighters against these three infantry. That's just not... I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Alright, well anyway, one transport... He's got five, and I got one, two, three, four, five, which is why I brought the sixth American. What if we get another destroyer? And then six infantry. 
Do I need all six? Let's see. I'm going to take away two. So I only need five. Which means I can do this. I can get a tank. We'll go with that. Because with the Soviet Union, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 29, 30, 31. 32, 33, 34, 35. And I've got 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 27, 28, 29, 30, 36. So can I take out these? I, I got to take out Ukraine on UK's turn. I mean, on, on Soviet Union's turn, don't I? Perhaps I can take Ukraine, Poland, Caucasus, and dead zone West Russia? Perhaps? Hmm. Well, we're going to take France. That is going to happen. We'll use the artillery. We'll save the tank. Use the two fighters. Uh, down in Africa. The rain's down in Africa. We're probably not going to do anything. In fact, the rest of the UK round might be to just sit tight. We already have Burma. We don't need to try to do anything there. This infantry can just help West Russia. Are we going to hold West Russia? That, yeah, that's, see, that's what I need to figure out. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22... All right, so we would need, we need like 35 to defend here and we need some firepower. We have four fighters, we have a tank. Uh, this US fighter is needed up in season three, I believe. Actually, no, wait, we got one, two, three, four. Yeah, the fifth one up there. Hmm. Unless maybe the U.S. doesn't take uh, go into season three this round. Maybe we just take uh, Northwest. Just use one transport and just Northwest. Leave the other transport behind, or maybe we sack a transport and take Norway. Maybe that's what we do. And then this fighter can go into West Russia. That makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? And then we have another infantry also, and then I think we could trade. So let's let's count it up. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So we should be able to take uh, both Belarus, Ukraine, and hold West Russia. And then if we leave a transport for him to have to get, he's even has one less fighter or bomber or whatever he decides. So that should work. That should be the plan. All right, let's go with it. We're just going to take France. Let's go. Take that, Germany. No hits. There's the hit. No hit back. That's nice, because two infantry 
two units is infinitely more difficult to take out than one. Put them two fighters back. West Russia. Oh, put you in Caucasus. Put you and you in Egypt. And we'll take this transport. It is in bomber range. One, two, three, four. Five, six, five, six, five, six. Oh, we could put the transport in 34. I believe it's safe there. Nope, there's a sub. Let's just send you down to 29. Then maybe we'll get you back around the horn here and bring you, bring you, uh, use you for the UK. Then perhaps we can stop purchasing transports, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe? Does that sound like a good idea? What do you think? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to send six there. I just want one infantry. I'm going to leave this one in Burma. No, I'm going to leave it in Burma. I don't want him to be able to land. Well, he won't be able to land there. It's still mine. Hmm. Now make him attack it. I'll always make, make him fight for it. Make him fight for it. All right. A new destroyer, a new transport. Put a tank down in India. Two infantry. There's two infantry for the UK. And we'll send it over to Japan. Chimo chills. It looks like he's spectating at the moment. Let's see what he did. On Japan, round three. Five infantry, another transport, artillery, fighter. Seems like a pretty decent buy. He got New Guinea back. Took a Venki. He lost two infantry there. I'm happy to hear that. Another infantry loss taking Sheshwan. Not bad. Not bad. Xinjiang. Burma failed to take Burma. I like that too. Not bad. Not bad at all. There's Yunnan. He's got this sub chasing my transport. You'll never catch him. Ha ha ha. Season 61. Moved an infantry into Yakut. There's his new transport. And the units, these units out of uh, Japan, the United States, needs something. I know the United, the United States needs something. I think I said I was going to sack a transport and take Norway, and then I was going to take Northwestern Europe. For my purchase. Three, four, five. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10. We don't need any more surface ships. So we get two more transports. Bringing us up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
If we have these two going out, we have three, four, five for these ten. And then these two come back, and there's another two, so we need eight. And if I chintz and get seven, because I have two any airs here, I could do that and save a buck. Unfortunately, he has three units here in Ukraine. I think it's too much of a risk that he hits two to send these aircraft. I, I need them to defend West Russia. We're going to have to do this with the uh, Soviet Union. But remember, I got a third fighter with the Soviet Union. I know I want to do this. And this. And we'll do a bombing raid of Karelia. I know I could bomb something else like Germany or even Italy. But I think it's more guaranteed that he has to repair Karelia. Or just leave it not repaired. Which would mean he can't build anything out of Karelia. Alright, let's hit it. Please don't shoot my bomber down. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So non-combat. Put everything in West Russia. Let's check. What are the defense profile? I know I've checked this a hundred times already. The bomber after the... Mm, that's fine. I think that's fine, actually. That's alright. Otherwise, he can try to strafe. We don't want that. Let's put all of this in... Season 8 for now. You in 10. You go to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. No, you don't go to 12. You go to 10. Get these guys out into the Atlantic. Double, triple check. Double and triple check it all. Alright, so the fighter out of Eastern. Two transports. Seven infantry. Let's send it over to Soviet Union. Five infantry, two artillery. Not bad. Let's go one, two, and we will use one of these artillery. And then two of these fighters. One of the fighters there. One infantry there. Two infantry. He's got 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
31. If I take these out, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Hmm. I think it's just enough. I'm going to have to take that risk. Maybe Ukraine turns into a strafe or something. But then that means he has an extra unit there. Alright, I got to take the risk. Let's go for it. Oh, he hits back too, but we take the region. And now this one. Come on. First round. Okay. There we go. Good enough. Alright, we have to leave the infantry in Archangel, of course. So this is 11, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Against these 31, but 15 of them are tanks. No, the four of them are fighters. One of them is a bomber. That's hefty numbers. I'm locked into it now. I'm committed to it. I should have used the calculator first, but I'm committed to it. And I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. There's no threat from the Japanese. He's got one tank, one bomber. Let's see it. it looks like he's watching. Maybe he'll take his turn. take a look at Germany. 10 infantry, 2 artillery. Had to repair a little bit. See, he did something interesting here. He did get the transport. He failed taking Ukraine. Which is... That's actually pretty nice. He got himself some Belarusia. Archangel. He stacked up Archangel, which... It's a risky move, but it's a pretty interesting move. It's not a bad move at all. But it's a little risky. As it stands right now, I could probably make a, a, a pretty hefty assault on Archangel. And I could take Archangel, and it doesn't matter how much I lose, really, because he doesn't have any real threat on Soviet Union for the next couple of rounds if I were to take that out. I'm assuming he's going to land these three Japanese units there, which would make that more difficult, make it more risky for me. Which, if that's the case, then I have to retreat into Russia, which I have plenty to hold Russia. I'm not worried about that. Hmm, that's interesting. Either way, I need to pull off of West Russia. Can't leave any aircraft there. I could leave a land unit there if I decide to. Took back France and so Northwest Europe.
We saw Karelia, the, the placement of the AA gun. And here in France, also. That's nice AA gun place, placement. Makes both of these a pain, a risk. It's, more, it's another thing the Soviet Union would have to risk. Fighters. He's got his five aircraft. Algeria, Belarus, France. He mobilized. All right, so for the United Kingdom, I think I want to get into C Zone 5. But then that means can I get another transport? And the answer is no. Unless he's got five. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. What if the U.S. defense sees on seven? Because only there the bomber can reach uh, sees on three. We could start getting some U.S. units into Finland. We should be able to do that. If I position my units properly here. We'll send the U.S. aircraft carrier. And a destroyer up to C-Zone 3. That should be plenty for C-Zone 3. And then we have two destroyers to put into C-Zone 5. Or no, we don't need to put any. We have two destroyers to put in seven with a cruiser. Because I want to get another transport. That means. Nine infantry. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, no threat on India. Uh, so the tank, the artillery, no fighter this round. All right. So let's take these two transports. We got a tank. Three infantry. Send both of them into five. That should be the one with the tank, and that should be the two infantry. Let's make sure. Yes. Oi. Oi. <laughs> the two fighters are going one, two, three, four. These two are going one, two. No, no, no. We want these two. Yeah. Yeah, we want to do that with these two. I like that better. I'm going to put an infantry into Libya. Make him come get it. Make him come and get it. Time to make a stand. This transport's going to continue its journey. I'm looking at it. That's all that I see that I want to do. All right, let it roll. May the dice gods be with us. Uh, 
hit back to. Oh. Well, maybe he used up all his hitbacks. Come on. Well, softened it up. Well, get out of there. Well, that wasn't all as awesome as it could have been. So we put the whole British fleet in Season 5, put these two fighters and this infantry into Russia for a possible defense. Um, infantry into Caucasus. Another infantry into Persia. We don't need anything in Burma. In Burma. Let's put the tank in Transjordan. Don't forget you. Let's put this tank in Alaska. It'll never be useful otherwise. At least, not yet. We have this transport coming. He'll probably pick up these two units on his way. Hopefully, if it works out that way. Okay. Transport will go in seven. Have another tank for India. Artillery. Up in UK. Seven infantry. Let's see Japan. Alright, let's take a look what happens. Japan, round four. Four infantry, two artillery, another transport, another fighter. He has one, two, three, four transports. He's in C zone 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's his threat. He doesn't have much threat on India. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This move here, I think, is risky for him. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to assault this. Like I anticipated, he reinforced it with the Japanese. But he's going to have to pull out of here. He's not going to be able to stay here. He's not going to be able to reinforce this. Looking at it now, I'm going to try and take this with the United States and clean it up with the Soviets if I don't take it with the United States. Maybe try to get this with land units. With the Soviet Union, maybe. I don't want to risk a Soviet tank. Hmm. Let's continue with this review. So he took Vologda and a bombing raid on India, one damage dealt. Took Burma, Novo, Kazakh, Eastern Australia. He's continuing to chase me with his um, submarine. What happens when I get up here? I have this destroyer. Maybe this destroyer should come make sure that this uh, sub doesn't try to get through here. Reinforce that. Move that along. 
There's Season 36. There's Yunnan. Sheshuan. French Indochina, Thailand. And then he mobilized one transport out of 60. And then some units out of Japan. Still does not have uh, an industrial complex on the mainland. Interesting. This is all very interesting. What is the U.S. going to do? I think this is a, a Finland shock. Uh, regardless, though, I want more transports. We have five, six, seven, eight. This will be nine and ten. You know what? Let's get nine. Industrial complex. Seven land units. I know it's a little short on the land units, but I'm okay with it. Definitely take Finland. So we're going to try and take Karelia. I'm not going to go for you. All right, so we need to defend Season 7. Does he need anything in 3? Maybe one more? Just to be sure. So that'll be the U.S.'s role. We can bring to Morocco if we want. I think I just want to get these transports up north. Even though, you know what, maybe I will do that. So then we have a battleship and destroyer, and then... He can keep chasing me if he wants over here. This fighter is going to season three. I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's uh, let's pray to the dice gods. <laughs> oh, it's only one battle. Let's see it. Okay. There it is. Oh, that's excellent. It's even better that we took it. With the US, we don't have to worry about it with the Soviets now. Put you back into... Put you in Moscow, the, the fighter. Put the bomber in Norway. Let's do this. We'll load up nine and one of you. We'll go up there with the destroyer and the aircraft carrier and this fighter and this other fighter. Put a cruiser and a destroyer. They're in seven. This transport goes back, yes. So now this other destroyer. Do we help in five? Yeah, let's help in five. Another transport. That's only two transports, right? the destroyer with the battleship um, so that's one two three four so we do have extra land units I think that looks good
So let's mobilize. We have an industrial complex to put in Norway. A transport. Put down seven infantry. Send it over to Soviet Union. 